All right, here's a quick sneak peek of the new Merge Cube add-on integration for co-spaces. Um, so in my account, when I go to create a space, uh, I currently have two options here. I can create an AR VR space or a Merge Cube space. I'm gonna select Merge Cube space, and that's gonna start up a brand new space that already contains um, a giant Merge Cube embedded on the space itself. Now if I double tap the merge cube, I have some options to change its material. Turn it into something different. Changing its material um, it, uh, still allows it to be considered um, a merge cube in terms of the, the creation of it. And um, I, right now I'm, I'm seeing the outside of the cube, but I can switch to viewing the inside of the cube. So that allows me to either build on the outside sides of the cube or I can build a scene inside the cube. Okay, so I'm going to do a scene inside the cube. And the creation of uh, merge cube content here is super easy. All you're doing is pulling in um, objects from the library like you normally would and adding them into, uh, into the cube or, or onto the cube depending on which option you've selected. Um, and uh, you can put them in the cube, you can put them outside the cube, like so, right? And no matter where the objects are um, uh, within um, the space, um, when you go to view your scene on the cube, it will have those objects uh, surrounding or on the cube or inside the cube based on where you've placed them in the scene. Um, all the other tools still work. I can go to uh, the uh, 3D models library and search on Google Poly for objects and drag in one of those. Here's a giant, I'm going to make that a little smaller. Lift that up. Put it up here. Right. Um, so all those tools still work. And now when I go to view or play it'll take me to AR mode and looking straight at the cube will uh, should activate there we go so you see I built it this way right there's the cow off to the side there's my goat there's my pizza and this is what the what building for inside the cube looks like and look how smooth smooth that is the inside changes depending on which way your you're facing it. So imagine the possibilities of being able to create content around the merge queue with your students. Things like the solar system, building scenes, um, coding still works in here as well. And they said they're going to also add new merge cube coding blocks. Um, to allow you to do some things with the merge cube specifically, but being able to code your objects to uh, complete actions or to have dialogue and all those things are still a part of this and will will uh, happen um, around the cube based on what you've created. Um, you could even do things like you know create interactive scenes around the sides of the cube. I, I feel like you could even do something like uh, like creating something similar to that uh, North. Uh, North 57 Degrees app that uh, choose your own adventure storyline because you could you, know, you could uh, add new scenes and use the code to switch scenes depending on choices and actions and things like that. So uh, stay, stay tuned for more. I'm going to continue playing with this. I've got early access and um, the Burge Cube add-on will be uh, releasing soon for the general public. So look forward to that.